Rajinder Singh Bheer. I am a DBA student and this is my first uh, opportunity to uh, participate in the 7th International Conference. Thank you. And uh, the uh, first uh, presentation is about valuable assets of human resources in the organization. So, uh, Based on the new classical growth uh, theory of economics, three driving forces, that is labor, capital, and uh, technology are the fundamental uh, pillars of an organization. So this uh, growth theory claims that the short-term equilibrium is driven from varying uh, quantity of labor and uh, capital in the production or growth. So labor productivity is calculated by total economic output divided by the total number of labor hours uh, each employee has worked. Therefore, employees as the source of value creation are the most valuable assets of the organization. And they provide the organization with physical and mental workforce and their capabilities. And the organization use, uh, uses them by combining with the assets, equipment, uh, uh, and plant and uh, the capital to seek a positive outcome and that is uh, profit and uh, companies can maximize uh, employees uh, uh, values by churning their abilities by evaluating the, their areas of, of expertise and uh, appointing them on those uh, appropriate positions and uh, uh, So I will start the literature review, uh, why human capital is uh, the bedrock of conceptual assets, uh, asset of firms. So if you remember Andrew Carnegie, he was a steel industry giant. So he claimed, take away my people, but leave my factories and soon grass will grow on the factory floors. But uh, you take uh, away my factories, but leave my people and soon we will have a new and better factory. And uh, it's uh, almost true until today. And according to the article, uh, Emergence of uh, Human Capital Resource, the authors stated that beginning with uh, Adam Smith's uh, identification of acquired and useful abilities, actually, Adam Smith uh, mentioned the uh, revenue of profit. Uh, there is a widely acknowledged uh, sense that individuals uh, possess a stock of skills, knowledge, and experience that can be leveraged for organizational or uh, personal benefit. So, The door to the success is not only the machines or high-tech devices, it's, it is the intellectual knowledge and talent which manifests in skilled workers' brains who have the capabilities to use efficiency, high-tech, or scientific devices, whether it's related to business or medical science field. And uh, the so the resource based uh, view predicts uh, so resource based view theory uh, was uh, invented uh, in 1991 and it became very very popular that emphasize on internal factors to uh, increase uh, uh, the value uh, creation so the uh, and this is the superior human capital and when it is uh, firm specific can create competitive advantage as human capital improves uh, learning by doing, thereby reducing the firm's cost also. So according to the resource-based theory, the sustainable competitive advantage drives from unique bundles of resources, which cannot be imitated by competitors. And following this theory, like for example, Apple, Google, so they have super 
human capital and they cannot be replaced by other companies it means they have their competitive uh, advantage uh, through their uh, skilled uh, brain uh, uh, human brains and uh, so physical technology whether it, it takes uh, form of machine tools or robotics in factories uh, complex information management system is by itself typically imitable on the other hand uh, uh, like uh, uh, polani polani and teeth uh, suggested that human assets are of, often hard to imitate due to scarcity specialization and tech technology so tech technology is uh, also a very very special knowledge that uh, it cannot be uh, uh, imitated by the competitors so due to aging factor baby boomers are uh, retiring now and uh, so then uh, the us bureau of labor statistics uh, predicts uh, by 2020 millennials uh, will make uh, 40% of the workforce and about 89% uh, millennials are uh, stated that uh, they that flexible work options are an important consideration in choosing an employer so when america was built those uh, generations are gone and then baby boomers also came so generation to generation change uh, there was a significant change but a new generation they they want to see what employer has uh, uh, offers for them uh, before they want to uh, decide to go there or not Uh, similar to economic uh, concept of human cap uh, human capital uh, so human assets are a special form of strategic assets uh, specifically there are human capital uh, they are human capital under limited uh, organizational control that has the potential to generate uh, economic rent and uh, so another thing is in today's world talent is so critical to the success of what you are doing their core competencies and how well they fit into your office culture the combination can be well extraordinary but only if you bring in the right people and that was said by ceo of uh, hsn uh, mindy grossman and also regarding the importance of human capital polyhard and at uh, uh, all uh, suggested at the other end of the spectrum macro level organizational theories uh, theorists and strategy scholars who are generally interested in firm level phenomena have studied how aggregate organizational level experience education and skills of employees are resources and that can be leveraged to achieve sustainable competitive uh, advantage so uh, frigo and uh, uh, frigo uh, at all uh, claimed uh, Uh, research on high performance companies uh, highlights the importance of employee engagement and human capital uh, as a key driver for superior business performance it also shows the value of disciplined uh, performance measures uh, that link with the long term shareholder value creation and steward or capital uh, stewardship and uh, discussing about uh, multi level theory and human capital research uh, polyhart uh, and molly turano uh, illustrated uh, views on multi level model of uh, human capital as the multi level model of human capital emergence defines human capital as a unit level resource that is created uh, uh from the emergence of individuals uh, knowledge skills abilities and other characteristics uh, and takes two theoretical insights as given first is uh, individuals differ in their endowment of uh, 
KSAO, and uh, that is uh, knowledge, skills, abilities, and other uh, characteristics uh, like tactical uh, knowledge, or uh, you can say special uh, abilities uh, they they might have uh, uh, according to their uh, experience. And the second is human capital is a resource that can relate meaningfully to unit level performance. So in the article, uh, one, uh, the routine may be the stable, but uh, advantage advantage is not. So the authors claimed, uh, given the primacy placed on collective routines and capabilities by core arguments of sustainability of competitive advantage in resource-based approaches, Barney, 1991. So he is the inventor of uh, our, uh, this uh, RBV view of strategy uh, theory. It is hardly surprising that strategy researchers uh, have devoted little attention to the study of competitive consequences of the loss of key employees to competitors. It's always uh, 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 welcomed by uh, competitors to get uh, employees from their uh, uh, other competitors. So eventually the companies who succeeded in hiring high skilled workers would use employees talent which would provide them a competitive edge on rival companies. Or for example, companies such as Apple, Google, Amazon, Oracle, Microsoft, etc., have a high reputation for employee satisfaction. Uh, that is why most job seekers feel fortunate for being hired uh, by one of these uh, top rated companies. As a matter of fact, in Dr. Scott's uh, class, uh, during one discussion, uh, we were discussing that uh, uh, about uh, like uh, why Google, Apple or Amazon, why especially Google, why they have so much for offering for their uh, employees. It's because they want to uh, offer them everything they, the employees would need. And uh, in, uh, in uh, so why they are doing that? Because they want to use their brain. So if a brain is cool and calm, brain would work uh, and give the high performance. So that's again, human capital. Uh, about offering new opportunity and by the way they are the soft uh, software makers so that means uh, if they have uh, they won't use their brains perfectly the productivity productivity performance level will go down so about offering new opportunities with the organization does uh, at all uh, uh, suggested organizations often miss out on a potential source of talent, former employees. Not everyone who leaves an organization does so because they are unhappy or dissatisfied, dissatisfied only. Instead, many leave for what they think they, will, they believe is a new opportunity. And it's true. I mean, if we see LinkedIn and other uh, social uh, these uh, media's uh, places, what they are doing, they are offering, and there are more job opportunities. And what if those organizations can retain the brains they have trained and uh, uh, invested experience? If they can retain them, obviously they will have competitive edge. So, um, um, so most knowledge and uh, in incentive organizations uh, recognize that the source of competitive edge come from advantage comes from human capital. One way uh, that the human capital value metrics uh, advances current uh, thinking on human capital measurement uh, is that it addresses the issue of individual value head-on. 
and also uh, uh, others have suggested in the resource based uh, view uh, of firm human capital is frequently assumed to contribute to competitive advantage and due to its uh, in amiability uh, based on its intangible firm specific and socially complex nature so similarly um, uh, clavin and at uh, all suggested a firm that relies on such knowledge may attain high returns because they there are no competitive uh, market to bid up wages thus uh, human assets are often casually ambiguous because many social and uh, cognitive processes are not well understood so in the book uh, group dynamics and uh, team invention uh, interventions uh, france uh, the author claims this exception is called synergy or the uh, premise that uh, the team is something greater than sum of its parts when a group or team achieves synergy something magical occurs during the process of working together to create greater outputs that cannot be explained solely by the members member in, input alone so if we see mergers and acquisitions so that team both teams get together before merger takes a final place but they want to find out uh, the value creation by combining the employees because they do, do not want to lose the, the the employee pool because they know that uh, those employees have uh, magical experience that new employees cannot uh, have and meantime if they try to hire new employees it will take a training process it will take time meantime competitors will uh, go ahead and they will uh, do the better so tactic knowledge and possessing that knowledge helps uh, organizations uh, to gain a competitive advantage in particular the focus is on tactical knowledge that is acquired largely through personal experiences such as such as learning by doing or observing so both ways so when we learn as an employee and we observe also how others are doing and on the other hand uh, barney claimed knowledge possessed within an existing organization is typically viewed through the lens of competitive advantage so according to the authors uh, research study uh, extent uh, work can be uh, can be categorized into three research streams that is knowledge spillovers as the source of new firm in uh, formation inherited uh, knowledge as a source of new firm know how and impact of genesis on uh, on the new firm outcome and uh, so results after observing the articles in the literature review the results uh, uh, suggest uh, that human capital is crucially important and organizations should enhance uh, to develop uh, employee skills uh, to improve organizational productivity and also uh, authors uh, discussed uh, multi level of human capital resources by explaining employee knowledge skills abilities and other characteristics linked linked to individual uh, level outcomes and uh, other suggested is developing an uh, developed an analysis of strategy map with the human capital by illustrating a metric that matters 
to investment based on crucial uh, employee turnover and uh, the article describes how important it is uh, for companies to know that human capital risk is a critical element and it should not be avoided on the other hand uh, barney j emphasized uh, uh, human capital as a prominent part of uh, firm resources that helps uh, in sustaining competitive advantage so overall numerous authors uh, suggested uh, suggest, uh, uh, suggest that uh, human capital is important of uh, uh, important um, Uh, of organizational resources and organizations uh, should continue developing training programs to improve employee skills to gain productivity so in conclusion likewise firms with limited resources uh, will uh, only become valuable when it is, it has capabilities to develop and use skills knowledge of its human capital and uh, therefore uh, organizations must uh, establish strategies to develop employee expertise so they can contribute their maximum work uh, skill input also it would save the firm from brain drain neither satisfied employees would like to quit their jobs nor competitors could get an opportunity to hire them to use their expertise uh, to gain competitive edge that's all and these are the references